at least it'll be a little bit more, it'll be clear. Remember we talked about that with the, with the parts board yeah. and how they were correct. It was rolled and it should have been separated out. So I'll do that and when we have the budget amendment late in the year, I'll do it before <coughs> that budget amendment so you understand it and then we'll do the budget amendment afterwards, so to speak, housekeeping. Um, the sale of cities properties was, was an ordinance out there that that funds go back into new purchase of parks. I don't know that ordinance is still out there, been repealed or what? Do you mean just property in general or equipment? Any kind oh, of real, uh, real, real estate. Okay. Anything goes back into the park plan? files. 
um, it will come with keyboard. Uh, so the detail, I don't know if you threw the whole packet in here, but if, if you want it, we can send it to you, but it includes, you know, different software. Um, and for, I mean, I think it's 15,000, right around 15,000 for 10 of them, which includes all the council, the mayor, Amy, and Richard. Um, and it kind of future-proofs this as well, with it being more of a laptop type thing than an iOS and an Android device, it'll, it's a little bit more flexible. And it goes right with our network, which is Windows based. So it's it's going to be seamless. Well, <coughs> give me a piece of paper, and that's what we'll figure it out. We'll still give you a paper, but we're going to work with you on that at this point. The nice thing about it too is that uh, providing assistance <coughs> offers IT, provide assistance for the learning curves. Yeah. So my uh, Quint can learn how to. It's, it's relatively easy, it's just a matter of learning how to transition from the paper to acquiring your, your agenda, how to go through it. You, could, um, you can use the, the, the pen to yeah. write yourself notes on, right. uh, on the information. You can go back and forth from the agenda to the items, and <coughs> instead of going through all the pages of the paper.
may have looked at it. Uh, currently, if a council member is out of town and we need a member's input, especially if we're short for a quorum, we've uh, in the past done a conference call uh, by telephone. <coughs> Uh, do these have a good enough uh, web chat that you can uh, log well, in? That some legality is really yeah. to I recently did it. Um, I'll send, send you a link from Jurassic Park to set some issues out uh, recently. Talking about off site. Uh, yeah, I know that yeah. at the time when we talked about, and when, when we were doing this, the telepresence or teleconference um, mm -hmm. meeting. The city had to just adopt a policy, which we haven't done, I don't think. Um, but long term, we've talked about when we have a, a screen to project things on, you know, do we want that to have telepresence capabilities where we can mm -hmm. do Skype or something like that. So it's been it's been discussed, but we're not we're not there yet. We want to make sure that once the council chambers is done, we're looking at, at the sound system and the microphones. But because it's up in the air as the portables and what we're gonna do here. That's kind of on hold. We've got prices, and then kind of the next phase of that is what do our AV needs look like over the next few years? <coughs> and I will talk with Auburn's IT to see if they've even established telepresence in their council chambers just to see if they've looked at what the cost is. They, they have they it. Have I don't know what their tool is, but they've got a ca uh, camera system under their. Okay. Computer. So I'll ask them and I'll see what uh, costs would be to our city, just so we know that. And I am also working with them on getting um, policies in place for internet and everything else related to this. That's why they were they were really pushing this. We started it, but they were like, let's go through so we can get you off of the personal. The, the phone, um, is that a problem for you to come off your phones and be on the, the surface? Um, specifically for you, uh, for you, the company. I'm not For me, it would only be an issue in that I already have to carry two phones and a laptop during the day, all day okay. for work, so this will be two phones, a laptop, and now a tablet. I hear you. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you have to carry it every day? Plus, I want to be able to get city email. Oh, we get all the heat. I, I just use it for, notice, for notification. <coughs> so I, I always have my phone in my pocket versus my tablet when it notifies me maybe in my backpack. Or Let me, I'll phone. talk to Auburn about that. I don't know if we want to get every council member a phone. I'm not sure of the cost. I could look into that. Well, that wouldn't solve my problem. I know, then you have another phone. I hear you. you know, There's only so much we can do. Yeah, we're going to go to the surface and, and as they said, our emails, you know, it's fine with me if I'm not looking at my phone. I can okay. Just want to make sure. I'm just so used to having everything on sure. my phone right now. Yeah, if, <coughs> if they were comfortable providing some sort of like a text notification of new email just to, you know, to send out notification only, sure. then you can actually read it and respond to it on the tablet. Okay. I'll talk to that. Or even count like the calendar stuff. Yeah. You can give notification of the calendars. And I see their, their concern. The thing is with the, the way our email set up, everything stays on the server. So unless you intentionally download it to your device and delete it off the server, I mean, it's still a record. So, yeah, I mean, I understand that there's a I don't know that it's a huge risk on it. Yeah, but yeah I, I need to talk to them. They haven't responded yet to the issue about of, uh, getting your email. So I know they changed the server, so it made it more protected. So that's probably what happened. <coughs> I'll find out tomorrow. Yeah. All righty, next on the agenda, parking on 3rd Avenue at Pacific. Okay, I got a call from Gary Halsey today. He asked me to bring it to the workshop tonight, so I know we were told him I would do so. Uh, he is parking on the north side of 3rd Avenue which is just west of his house on 3rd. Uh, Leanne went to John and told John that Gary is illegally parked. John Halton? And so John apparently contacted Gary. Gary says that the no parking zone does not start until further west of his house on 3rd, because on the north side of 3rd, <coughs> there is no parking. But he says that, that there's his house and another house or whatever, that 
a no parking zone doesn't start until it's further west of his house. So he wants that research. I told him I'd bring it before the workshop tonight. That's what he asked me to do. That's what I did. And I myself don't know. I don't get it. I've seen the line, and it does go from Gary's house, it goes down a house or two, and then it comes in. Yeah. And for the bike lane. Or then it, yeah, it comes out, and that's where the bike lane starts. It's down two or three houses from the corner there. Okay. I guess we need to do some research on it. Unless well, there's a sign that says no parking and we allow street parking, and there's no line that there's no, there's no parking, then you're okay to park, I would say, Josh, as long as you're not within a certain distance of the stop sign. But there is no stop sign. There. So if the code's already in place, it's not a legislative issue. No. So Leanne needs to address it administratively, either through public works or through public safety to determine what it is. So I would recommend we let Leanne handle it. I'll let him know. Yeah, I would agree that's the executive issue. Council can ask and certainly can yeah, but the answer is that told called yeah, it's, 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 it's still, still an illegal issue. issue. Yeah, it's still yeah, it's it's unless we're talking about changing the code. No, it's not ours. There is a stop sign on that corner though, you're not supposed to park it in what, thirty feet? Uh, no. 30 feet not going, going, not going not to the not going to the stop sign. It's on the stick. There's a stop. So he was parked around the corner? Yeah. On the side of his house. Okay. okay. Yeah. It's camp park within 30 feet of any intersection in any established no parking zone. And there is not a bike lane on the side of the street. Not right there. So it's not a problem. Um, Crosswalk doesn't specify that it has to be a marked crosswalk, so that would be any intersection, but any intersection is already covered by 30 foot. So. It well. is when you make when you stop at the stop sign of the specific turn right, it's all of a sudden a truck is there, so you do have to pay attention to what you're doing. Well, anyway, I know it was not a council issue, but he will ask for it to be put on the I mean, the council will be aware of it, so I did what the gentleman asked to do. And that's so we all know about it. Alrighty. Is there any further discussion? No, the only thing that I've got here, we've got to figure out on our, apparently they have a problem here. Our public safety, I just found out tonight. Our public safety committee uh, correspondence is not getting through properly or whatever. So. I got it. Gee, I got it today. You just said you didn't get it. No, no, I didn't get the agenda. Well, that's what I mean. I, I got the public safety uh, questions. But oh, I didn't get the oh, agenda. oh, like you didn't get the public no, safety. No, I got the two public safety emails. Oh. But I did not get the agenda. And she's looking into it. Why I didn't get that? Oh, okay. Never mind. Anything further? Then we are done.